Hello my amazing sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video I am back with another Fallout 76 video, and in today's video we're going to be showcasing one of the new guns that came with the new update, Ticket to Revenge, it's a new railway rifle. Now before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, so here we have it. Ticket to Revenge. It's a furious railway rifle. It was going to be a bloodied railway rifle with 20 spikes. But now it's a furious railway rifle with 20 spikes. I'm not gonna lie. Um... It is an amazing gun. I I cannot fault it there. Um, it doesn't have any trouble. I'll include loads of gameplay throughout this entire video. You can skip skip throughout it if you want to. But it doesn't have a problem pretty much taking down anything. I will say, I do wish it was indeed a bloodied railway rifle with 20 spikes. That would have been amazing, or even an anti-A with 20 spikes, that would have been incredible. But I'm not gonna lie, as a furious weapon, it does it does handle pretty well. I'm trying to think of a, a nice ways without insulting the gun. It is great. Overall, it is absolutely great. You can drop it on the floor, you can put it away and everything like that. Um, I, I know that because I've recently <laughs> accidentally dropped it on the floor and I had to quickly pick it back up. But obviously you can drop it on the floor just for anyone that is asking is it tradable or anything like that. So to answer that question, yes you can drop it on the floor. But overall it is a fantastic weapon, I just wish it wasn't furious. Honestly, that's the only thing that is my personal complaint about it. it overall though, it is a great weapon kills everything so quickly and it's nice to actually have a railway with instead of 10 rounds it's got 20 it really you really do feel the power difference it is insane it really really is like as a furious weapon there yeah, i had 926 pop up there it just goes to show you don't need a bloodied weapon or an anti-a to pull off some insane damage numbers also with this gun as well, if you pair the perk card Adrenaline, get it all the way up to Adrenaline 5. When you start running through enemies and getting multiple consecutive kills, you're just non-stop killing. Kind of like on Radiation Rumble or any nuke, especially with Earl or the Wendigo for example, you're killing back to back Wendigo. So your damage is just non-stop stacking from the Adrenaline card. And then with the Furious attribute, your damage stacks with each consecutive hit that hits the target. So you can pull off some insane damage with this railway rifle. Don't don't think all oh, you need a quad railway rifle or anything like that to get the job done. This railway rifle I would say would make anybody happy. It does the job, it does what it's supposed to do. It kills everything and that's all you could ask for. For a bit of a dirty question that I was thinking before actually starting this video, would I say a quad railway rifle is still better than it? Honestly, yes. I would say having the 40 shots is a lot better than having 20 shots. Obviously 20 shots is still better than an original rail railway for example that only has 10. This new one has 20 but it is a furious. With a quad being 40, I would say I would prefer a quad still. But, as a free gun that all of you are going to get and all of you are going to be able to use, yes, I would say this is one of the best weapons that Bethesda have actually added to the games. You could definitely have some fun with this. You don't need to be constantly rolling guns, trying to get a really good gun, because honestly, this is a really good gun. It does the job, takes Scorch Beast down just like that. Super, super easy. And I'm, I'm not even fully built for Commando either at this point. 
my build was a mixture of a carry weight build and a little bit of a sneak slash commando build. I had a few wrong cards on. I didn't have all the cards that I needed on. So I wasn't fully prepped for commando. But even without some cards missing, I, I didn't struggle on anything, honestly. It is a great gun. Definitely make sure you keep doing the quest line, the new quest line to get hold of this gun. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to give away any spoilers because I know some of you are big, big Fallout fans. So I don't want to give away any of the story, of course. But definitely keep playing through, without saying any spoilers, keep playing through the new storyline. Get this railway rifle. I promise you all, you're going to have some fun with it. But I'm going to wrap this video up here and leave you all to enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you have enjoyed anything you've seen, then please do drop a like on the video. It really does help me out a lot. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video. Shit, this Scott survived. <laughs> By the way, anything you find that isn't labeled, you can keep. Uh, hang fire, mate. Scanners are picking up some signatures that aren't you or Harvester Pearl. Go ahead and start looking for those parts, but keep your fish on. Now.